Between uh, Senators Obama and Clinton, who, who do you hope wins? <clears throat> well, you know, I like them both. And, I, I mean, I look at Hillary and I think of what women have had to go through. And, and I look at even my own campaign. I've had elected officials come up and hand me 50 bucks and tell me there's more in it for me if I meet them at the hotel down the street. I can only imagine Who's, who what said this, that? Um, I'll tell you after the show, and okay. I won't give you names. Okay. Uh, but well, come listen. on, tell us. Everybody, everybody <laughs> wants to know. Which hotel? But, but this is what women have to go through to get elected, and I see and, and I see how far we've come. I remember in fifth grade, my teacher saying, and even you, young ladies, when you get older, might be able to be president one day. Well, I think it's kind of a shame that I'm 52 years old and it hasn't happened yet. At the same time, I'm looking at Jackson here. We have a, a huge African-American population. We've had several female judges, but we've still never had a black judge in, in here in Jackson. It's really important to the people to know that they're being represented and they're not being railroaded through the courts. And well, I can was, see was, where people was, can uh, identify with Barack, with the struggles. The um, governor had a, a black man um, proposed to her mm -hmm. for, for the, last, the last judicial appointment. Does the, and he's uh, very well qualified. Yes, he is very well qualified. And a nice man. A very nice man, too. Does um, the, the fight between uh, Senators Obama and, and Clinton uh, worry you that it's weakening the Democrats' chance? No, for heaven no. I, I think it's a great show of the democratic process and how you can get out and ask people questions and, and really compare and contrast and really get some of the issues out there. And I think that, that that's really important. If you, if you just got one guy or one gal... I mean, what fun is that? And how much are you really going to find out about that person if you're not really, you know, getting out there and putting up the dukes and find out what really counts in people's minds and every day when they go home? The New York Times today is suggesting a Obama Clinton uh, ticket or Clinton Obama. <laughs> I don't know which one. But I think it'd be a wonderful ticket either way. Uh, Health care, the, the economy. Uh, in the war. What about Michigan? Look at our state where uh, right now uh, American Axle Workers are on strike. The UAW now has idled 3,000 people in Lansing. Are, Jackson has the highest unemployment are in we, the United States. Are we as a state? What, what we have twice as many strip clubs now as we do a few years ago so I can see that our, our people in the state of Michigan and here in the city are really looking for the working class women of Michigan. We have those uh, oriental massage places too. What's up with that? Popping up, yeah. What are those? I have never what been What goes there. on there? <laughs> Tell you How do they have those know. giant billboards on 94? <laughs> they got to be making some kind of money, I guess. <laughs> uh, are you hoping to have a uh, one on one campaign? Well, we're setting up a few uh, debates as we speak. Uh, we've got one um, that's being set up in Adrian. We're also looking to set up one here at Jackson High School. And uh, so people can really hear the issues and find out what's really going on because there's a lot. Uh, let me just say this. This folly that's going on with Clinton and Obama right now, this little distraction, I call it bread and circus. They give you just enough to eat and they keep, keep you just enough informed and entertained to keep you off of the real issues that are going on. Are you worried that... Uh and I, I, I take you seriously as a candidate, and I, I think you're showing the last election uh, gives you that credibility, but are you worried that the party itself, the Democratic Party, isn't taking your, cam your uh, candidacy seriously? Well... They don't give you any money. They don't give me money, but you know what? I don't want their money, and I don't want all the corporate money that Senator Shower is taking either because I don't want to be beholden to those people. I only want to be beholden to the voters because that's what you are. You are a representative of the people. And I know that the Supreme Court and the Constitution has given corporations the same standing as an individual, but in my book, that's not who I represent. I represent the people. I've heard uh, the suggestion that Republicans will switch parties in the primary voting for you, thinking that you have a lesser chance against Representative Walberg. Oh, heck, I have a great chance. My dog could beat Walberg. Um, but, sorry, Tim. No offense. But listen, the Republicans may do that, but, but they're going to do it for the right reasons because they know I'm going to protect their Second Amendment. They know I am a hard money Andrew Jackson Democrat. Um, 
and that I believe in lower taxes. I believe that if you're out there earning some wages, that you should be getting a real dollar for your uh, for your hard day's work, not this fake stuff that they're printing. You know, the, this inflation stuff. Let's just print more of it. Let's just print more. It has no value. That's actually taking the value of the dollar down. Four dollar guess by Labor Day. Well, it was or by uh, Memorial Day. It was buck forty eight when when Bush got into office. And when, you, when you're in the oil business and you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you better take and get as much as you can from the American public while you can. And the other thing, our dollar might not be tied to gold, but it is tied to oil. Your uh, website is up? It is. What is it? Renier, R-E-N-I-E-R, -E -E the number four, R-E-P.com. Or just type in my name, Sharon Renier, and it, you'll find it on your web browser somewhere. Uh. Whether you have uh, joint appearances or debates with uh, Mark Shaw or Tim Walberg, we don't know yet, but what about you? What are your, what's your campaign schedule? Well, we're going out and meeting the public as much as we can. Um, I really like getting out and doing the one-on-ones. You know, we have to get a thousand signatures on our petition just to get our name on the ballot. Uh, my opponent is good at sending everybody out and getting signatures and doing his work for them. I believe in getting my signatures myself because if someone is going to take their time, to sign my petition, I want to honor them and thank them. Have you filed yet? Do you still no, have? but we're real close. Oh. We've got our, over a thousand already. Um, we're just getting a few more. you would like to have a few extras just in case some are bad or, yeah. or whatever. And and like I said, it's just fun getting out there and meeting the people. That's the one thing that I just really truly enjoy. And, and it's the one thing that really just gives me the most strength and energy and power. It comes from the people. It really does. Uh, money aside, how about endorsements? Are there organizations? Or, uh... There are many uh, individuals. I'm not looking for any of the unions. Those are already sewn up by my opponent, even though the, the members of the unions come to me and say we're not listening to our unions and <laughs> where do we sign up to work? Uh, because, like I said, people get it. They get it that we're not out for the money. I don't, I don't, I don't need the paycheck for uh, the congressional thing. I live on less than $10,000 a year for heaven's sakes. I'm in the, in the poverty level, but I'm the happiest person, and I'm wealthy in so many other ways, Bart. Money, it's not all it. It's not all it. Well, it's thanks for coming in. Nice to see you again. Thank you, Bart. And good luck. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jackson. Candidate for uh, U.S. House 7th District Democrat, Sharon Renier.